it's already going to be super weird. Here? This is the worst interview. Oh, shut up. Pretty over this. <laughs> Pete, I think, is it number seven? I think it's number seven. When we started about seven years ago, the idea was that the guys that were training with us gave them something to work towards, so they had the chance to prepare for something, to challenge themselves. It's kind of like their grand final, like it's their big event that they get to work towards. The boys mainly do it for our guys, to give our guys an opportunity to experience their first comp. It is a little bit less daunting doing it in your own gym. He is amazing at the programming. He is so methodical in the way that he goes about it and it just works so well how all the events flow together and mix together to make um, a really good test of fitness and CrossFit. He always comes up with something new and something that's a bit different so I'm looking forward to watching it all go down. Pete puts it together to make sure there's a workout that hopefully everybody likes. Some are high complexity, some are low, some are heavy, some are light, some are engine, some are grip. It's always a little bit different. I just love the the challenge that, you know, the guys write such good programming and the workouts look hard and I'm really excited to see how everyone goes. We all know that Adam's a little bit obsessive compulsive about things. I guarantee when he comes in today and we've set up, like he'll say something about the kettlebells that we've just moved around, he'll come and say, no, I don't want them there, I want them up there. Every year we get more and more people coming in to help with the preparation the days beforehand. It makes our lives so much easier and also creates that community feeling and you know that big family that we've got here at CrossFit Red Bluff. So it's nice seeing that even though we are doing this for the athletes that we've got our other members here helping us out. It really helps that we have so many guys to help out. You can sort of see how many people are willing to come in and give their time to help. And I think that's what makes it so special. The first two events are one after the other, they're back to back, and we've never done that with two workouts before. So that's gonna be a challenge to see the guys work out their strategy and see how they back up from one event to the other. Move fast in event one. If you save yourself for event two, it's probably not gonna to go too well. I was losing my balance and I was forgetting how many reps I was on. It was my first exercise in my first competition, I think. I can take a lot going into the second comp, so I'm looking forward to it. Don't worry, it's all about having fun. Really enjoy the experience, the environment, the atmosphere. Make sure you soak all of that up. This is your family. Just go out, have fun, and realize that we're not playing for sheep stations. That was awful. I'd like to say hi to all the fans. Hi, Bill. Just click the like button. It was really good. Oh, sorry. Can okay. we restart it? Yeah. <laughs> Workout one was really good. It was really fun. <laughs> minute rest did not feel like a minute rest. It went so, so, so quickly. It just like pushed you to like the next level and like really made you have to like think of strategies and everything. It was so much better than I thought. It was a bit sneaky. I was wondering if they were going to do anything sneaky since we thought there was only going to be four workouts today. But having two in one's a good compromise. I made me tired and my grip strength was just shot by the end of it. It's a good vibe and it's only gonna get better. Everyone's excited, everyone's nervous, but once this first workout's out of the way, people will loosen up and just have a good time. How was that load shit? You having fun? Not now. to say it's pretty shit <laughs> i just hope i finish that's my goal for today 13 minutes is not a long time um and double unders will be the death of me but now oh, yeah, we'll send it I, I predict you're gonna connect 80 double unders this oh, time thanks for the motivation justin To have fun is my main strategy today, just to get through it. <laughs> big smile, big smile. I'm trying to survive, trying not to get too stressed out or panic or have a heart attack. The walking lunges, the really important part is making sure that you make no mistakes. You don't get ahead of yourself or do anything stupid. Just kind of find a pace and work and do it all well. Towards the end of that workout, the lunge gets longer. There's a bike, there's a double under. So people's lungs and legs are really gonna be tested towards the back end there. There's this one guy, I think his name's Bandit Flu, Bandit or something. Shit. The worst. I could see the syphilis like spouting out. <laughs> Got to bring the gym down. It's a good 
workout. Like it's um, a lot of cardio, um, so your heart rate is constantly off. The lunches in between, you think you can rest a bit, but it actually kills your legs. Third workout was definitely harder than the first workout. Like the lunges got me, double unders got me. It was it was tough I'm trying to rest like when I needed to, but as little as possible. What made you want to do it this year? Um, Adam forced me. No, no, <laughs> just kidding. felt like decent enough fitness-wise, and yeah, it has been really fun. The heavy workout for the day, event four is a heavy one, so it gives the stronger guys a bit of a time to shine. A bit of a combination between grip strength. Anna, stop it. A bit of a combination <laughs> between grip strength and stuff that's a little bit heavy. It's probably would be my favorite event if I was doing the comp. It's a bit of a strategy workout. It really depends on the person. So if someone's doing it with strong grip strength, then they'll have the ability to hold onto the bar and try to do as much of it as they can unbroken. For people who don't, they're gonna need to plan where they take their breaks. The challenge then becomes being able to move those heavier weights as you get tired. Um, Active rest on the road. Yeah, go easy don't on the dump, road. Yeah, don't dump the bar and move safe. Yeah, about time for a barbell. So I had to hold it with these fingers. By doing that, it really makes it sit mm. as part of my hand. And it was just too much after a little while. It's bleeding pretty bad. That's about it. <laughs> that was painful. It was just all in the forearms. It was lungy, it was gassy. It was fun though. It was the longest 11 minutes of my life. <laughs> Kyle, I told him to keep yelling at me to get back to the bar because I was worried that if I put it down, I wouldn't pick it back up again. So I think he did well. It was awful. Quads were dying. Those last cleans were just awful. It was tough. A bit heavier than what I thought it would be. Your grip's gonna go, so be mindful of that. Don't die, get through it. Yep. Hold on for as long as possible, but it didn't really work. <laughs> so, yeah, tired, very sore. Hungry I'm and... I'm squat now. I'm waiting for my beers, I cannot wait. That's gonna be perfecto. So the final workout looks really simple. It's really sneaky and it gets really, really hard towards the end. I think it'll be a really great finisher, really exciting to watch. The chin-ups, that's gonna be really miserable. It's a shortish workout, but will be really miserable. We haven't done handstand push-ups since our very first comp. We always like to have one one gymnastics movement in that's a, that's a little bit more advanced. People who can do it get to show off their skills a little bit. Eight minutes, that's all it is, just eight minutes, and then we're done. And then what happened? Drink. Yeah, <laughs> get this. <laughs> Honestly, it felt pretty tough. Sometimes the workout doesn't always go your way, but that's fine. It's part of learning, and you grow from that. And uh, hopefully, you'll do better next time. So I think sometimes it's knowing when to stop and knowing when to rest. Sometimes resting is going to get you further than trying to be stubborn and just keep on going. Also, having everyone cheer you on makes such a difference. Even though it is a lot of effort, it's really nice to see all of our athletes and see all their hard work and where that pays off. I'm wrecked, I feel so tired. I love training, I love doing stuff with other people. It's a good vibe. I'd get massive FOMO if I didn't do it. I feel super stoked. It's been such a fun day. I love CrossFit Red Bluff with all my heart. It's the best place in the world, I love it. Good feeling, big day. If you do a competition like this one, it's going to suck, but you'll be able to do it. Vlogging away for, for those hours, I suppose, is the hardest bit, but it, like the reward's pretty good at the end. The stress that these guys are under and they manage to pull this comp through each year, it's, it amazes me. 
Yeah. There's always something special year to year. Like each year we do it, I regret it until the very end of it and it's done and then I don't regret it anymore. And that for that like 10 minutes, that 10 minutes of like it's finished and everyone had a good time, that's why we do it.